So some very interesting MLP news has been making the rounds over the past week or two. And that has to do with the fact that apparently, first of all, G5, tell your tale, um, is seemingly coming to an end. That is the report. And the last episode, according to what they're saying, is due for October 17th of this year. Now, some people have looked at various uh, reports being put out there, and they're not too sure about some of the information coming their way. A lot of people at the Facebook community uh, group pages for MLP, uh, both G4 and 5 and MLP overall, a lot of them have been questioning the, the uh, I guess you could say, the validation, you know, the, the validation, the validity, if you will, of, you know, these, uh, these reports, like whether or not they're true, you know, and if they are, where are they from? Because a lot of the messages that are getting spewed about, you know, about G5 ending uh, next month, you know, a lot of the information being spewed about, about when it comes to that, you know, there is no um, info, if you will. There is no, like, direct info as to, hey, you know, this is the person that sent it. This is coming directly from Hasbro. You know, here's the person from Hasbro. Here's the person, part of the uh, team creating G5. There's no indication as to who's, you know, saying this, you know, for anything to officially been, you know, be confirmed, nor is there anything, you know, be, you know, coming out of, you know, Hasbro period. Hasbro has not officially themselves said that G5 is ending. Uh, there's just a lot of people, there's just some reports coming out, all because of the fact, all because of the fact that something else is happening. And what's happening is mainly the fact that there is a leak. I'm not going to show the leak, and I'm not going to put the images. This is why you probably just see, you know, some kind of MLP image on here, you know, from either G4 or 5 or whatever, uh, going across the screen. But basically, there's been reports going around that a G6 could be uh, bound for release within the next two years. Now, with that said, the reason for, you know, this, you know, being all kind of connected with or not you believe word go the words going around and the reports being thrown out there with no concrete confirmation as to who's sending it out or if somebody's just trolling. But you know, this is all seemingly happening all at once. You know, this is seemingly happening all at once and are basically making people wonder, okay, what is going on here? Is G5 ending? Or is it continuing? Because one person on YouTube uh, basically indicated, yeah, tell your tale from what they're hearing is ending, but it, you know, episodes are still going to be going for the rest of the next year or so. You know, not towards October, not to not ending in October, but from what they're reporting, all the way up until at least next year, sometime around next year. Because let's not let's not forget. When we heard about G5, you know, becoming a you know, becoming a reality, when we heard about that, you know, we were given all different kinds of concept art of the main six with new looks, and then that was, you know, scrapped, and then we were given what we had with new generation. And all that within a year of G G4 officially ending. So you know, so it's not a surprise that maybe, yes, Teo Tail and G5 might be ending in 2025 and not 2024. And you know, all this is due to the fact that maybe they want to have that opportunity in 2026 to bring in G6, if that's the case. There's also reports that, you know, again, take any of what you've read or heard throughout the past few weeks with a grain of salt. There have been reports of them wanting to do a shared ponyverse. In other words, a hybrid, a blend, you know, of both G4 and G5. There's also been reports of new animated series, you know, um, in development, like one being called Camp Cutie Mark and, you know, and so on. But apparently all of that, you know, all of that, the shared ponyverse, 
Camp Cuny Mark, apparently that's all been scrapped, or has it? You see, no one really knows what's going on. Because apparently, Hasbro, according to one person, this is one person on YouTube, um, Hasbro has take, has basically gotten contact uh, with those that have been posting images of the supposed, uh, you know, of the supposed G4, G5 um, hybrid show. You know, and this person is called the Wild Card on YouTube. But anyway, there have been reports of the fact that Hasbro has gotten in contact with these folk, with folks posting images of the so-called G6, shared ponyverse imagery and all that. You know, they've been asking them. They've been asking Equestria Daily, a place that they've been very, uh, I guess you could say, close with, fond with, and cool with when it comes to them talking about pony news and all that. Excuse me. They've been, you know, they got in contact with them and, and one of the moderators, uh, Celesto, uh, uh, Celestro, I think that's their name. They've been getting in contact with them, you know, all to take down these images. And it's like, why? Why are you asking them to take down the images if maybe none of what, you know, has been reported is true? That there is no shared ponyverse. There is no Camp Cutie Mark series being made. Like, why have them take it down unless there is some smoke, unless there is some fire to the smoke that's been reported? You see, this is, you see, this is kind of weird. This is kind of weird because it's like, you know, it's understandable that if it is something official that Hasbro doesn't want getting out, you know, way sooner than it should, uh, uh, way sooner than it should. Hold on for a sec. Well, I do some, something here. Hold on for a second, guys. i got to do something. <laughs> Hold on. Like I was saying, why would they want, you know, um, Equestria Daily, like I said, a place that they've been, you know, cool with? You know, why would they want them? Why would they want anybody else to take this stuff down if none of it's really true? Unless it is something that is official, but it's been, but the leaks are something they don't want out there because... The timing is not right yet. Like, it, it, like basically, you know, what we're hearing is official, and whoever leaked these images, if they are legit, you know, are, you know, the real deal. You know, it's understandable because, you know, they want to be the ones to announce it themselves. They want to be the ones to announce it themselves, and I get that. We all, you know, understand, you know, that, you know, that situ we all understand them wanting to do that. But again... If this is not all fact, if this is not all on the up and up, then why have any information, any imagery removed unless there is fire to the smoke? And when I also look at what people are saying, you know, coming out and not giving anonymously, not giving information as to where they're getting, you know, the info of, oh, G5 is going to be canceled in October, da 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 you know, sometimes I look at that and I'm wondering if that's just a bunch of trolls just taking advantage and trying to make fans of MLP look stupid. Because, again, as I said earlier, there's a lot of folks that are looking at that at the various communities and they're, not, and they're basically taking that with a very, very, you know, not thin, but very hard grain of salt because they're like, seriously, this is not real because if it was real, it should be coming directly from Hasbro. But it's not. So it makes one wonder if the people putting this information out are just a bunch of trolls. Which if they are, then why don't you just come out and say it? Why don't you just say, hey, we pe we're people that don't like M people that like MLP and we're just messing with you. Why don't you just say that? Why don't you just say that? Or why don't you just say, well, I hope the rumors I hear are true and MLP just goes away because it's uncool. Why don't you just say that? If this, if you know, that's a, if, you know, these uh, things being put out there are indeed fake, which uh, from what I'm seeing, 75% of the fandom believe they are, you know, because again, it didn't come from Hasbro or the official MLP team. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens in the future. But yeah, apparently there is going to be a G6 because there are rumblings that something is in development and Hasbro wants to still hit that nostalgic market for the older fans of G1 to 4 and even 5. So 
you know, there's got to be some validity to what's going on. But, you know, again, what if the, if there was no validity, if there was no truth, then why would Hasbro want a Questia Daily, a place they've been cool with, as well as just regular fans that are posting what they're finding out and being, what's being leaked on places like, you know, 4chan and Reddit? Why would they want those taken down if nothing was legit? You know, why? Why have them taken down? Because, again, there has to be some truth there. There has to be some fire where the smoke is coming from. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get some uh, information, some clarity down the line from Hasbro itself and the MLP team to what, un, to what the future holds for MLP. But let me know what your thoughts are on all this information, guys, on all this you know, G6, you know, info, whether it's real or not real, this information of G5 being canceled within the, being ending within a month, being real or not real. Let me know what your thoughts are on, you know, this is, you know, the suspiciousness behind Hasbro wanting all that shared ponyverse and, you know, G6 camp cutie mark stuff taken down, down when, you know, from places like even Equestria Daily and so on. If they let me know what your thoughts are on that and whether you believe there is some fire to the smoke. Let me know. Love to hear from you guys on it. And until next time, like the video, ring the bell for notification, subscribe to the channel. Helps me out in a big way, guys. Also, click on the link in the description at the bottom to check out my Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else. Also, check out other outlets where you can find my content from Rumble.com at BWRosis, at Odyssey.com at BWRosis. You know, at Vimo at BW Rosas. At DivaNart.com at BVW 1979. Also, check me out at Twitch.tv, BW Rosas, and Kick.com at BW Rosas. Also, at all your favorite audio, audio and potentially at times video podcasting places like iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spotify, Spotify for Podcasters, Pandora, you know, um, Audible, Radio Public, you name it, if it's got a podcast, you know, if it's a podcast affiliate or something like that, I'm possibly there. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are on all this, whether you believe any of it or not, if you're suspicious about certain things that I've mentioned here, when it comes to, you know, why Hasbro had this stuff taken down, if there's no truth to it, if do you think that there's something going on they're not letting us know about, let me know, and until then, I am out.